Hey man, what it is? This is this is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go the cash app, dollar sign Dean by any means. Yes, all the people in the comments talking about I'm begging. That's the haters. I'm begging. I'm broke. What Brandon T. Jackson say? I'm broke, Negro. I'm broke. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely appreciate the support. Who wouldn't, Earth Man? Um, all the other YouTube channels could get support, but Dean wrong for asking for it. He's Earthman is crazy. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. There go that super chat button at the bottom. You know that work too. Show your boys some love. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated, y'all. Y'all, it just don't stop. <laughs> We kill one narrative, they hear it, they got to put out another narrative. Now the narrative is, they think Javante Davis is so great that he has to do things no other boxers, including Canelo or Floyd, have done. What is that, Dean? Um, Give up the A-side and get told what weight division they're going to make a fight at. When people wanted to fight Floyd, they had to make sacrifices. Manny Pacquiao cannot get that Floyd fight until he agreed to Olympic-style testing. You don't tell Canelo Alvarez. David Benavidez can't tell Canelo Alvarez, in order to be great, you got to come to 175 to fight me. Is Terrence Crawford, the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, telling Canelo that he got to come to 154 to fight him? But Javante Davis has to move up and fight guys that you don't even really want him to see. Who do you want him to see him fight to prove he's great? Liam Paro? Play you? The same characters say that Devin should be at 147, so you don't want him to see fight Devin at 140 because you think Devin's a weight bully and belongs at 147. So who is at 140 that TOs and litigations that I've heard has turned down a Javante Davis fight? But guess what, y'all? They won't tell you that. And how I know that T.O. probably did turn it down because T.O. literally cannot fight. He would have no choice but to turn it down now, wouldn't he? But Javante Davis and them wouldn't know that until they reached out to him. Because this just got made public with Bob Arum, T.O. and all of that stuff. We didn't know about this a couple months ago when Javante was actually trying to make fights. We didn't know about T.O. litigations and all that. This is new information because we was wondering where the hell is T.O. Fimo Lopez at? Well, we got the answer to that question. So, Javante, y'all already think that Javante is so great and is a gumbo pot and of the, all the right things that, that, that he's, he's just, he might have the best IQ in boxing. But when I was saying that he got the best IQ in boxing, y'all called, the same person called me moist. Just to agree with everything that I said, showbiz, you agreed with it. Everything that I said to you, you agree with me, but now you got to find another narrative to act like you don't agree. <laughs> the Earthman is crazy, y'all. Um, But my thing is, y'all, just bear with Dean. Just stick with me, y'all. Just stick with Dean. Um, if Javon, you think Javante Davis is so great, it has the best IQ in boxing and, 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 and is just this, this specimen and, and that he's just, he's a wonderful fighter. Then why would he have to, don't that mean that you already think he's great? Why would he have to prove to you he's great if he's already great? Hey, y'all, if you get an A plus on the test, do you have to prove you can get another A plus on the test or like do it get higher than an A plus? If you already think that Tank is great, then that means he don't have nothing to prove to you. He can't be greater. What does that even look like in boxing, him being greater? Again, y'all, why I say that, is Tank retiring tomorrow? Is Lamont Roach Tank last fight that he's ever going to take in his life? How do you know who he's going to fight in the future? You're Miss Cleo now? So if you already think he's great and you know he's not retiring right now and it's pretty likely that he's going to fight even better competition than Lamont Roach, then don't that mean that he's going to do what you want him to do? <laughs> don't that mean that he's doing that? I'm just saying, but guess what, y'all? These same guys not going to tell you that they don't, like, they know why he's not fighting Lomachenko. Showbiz know that he reached out to Lomachenko and he backed out of negotiations. But if he says that, his argument is null and void because then it's like, well, then who do you want him to fight, Showbiz? If he's not, 
oh, you want him to go back up to 140 so everybody can sort of then come back down. This is what he wants them to do, y'all. He wants them to go to 140, then come back down to 135 because you don't want to see Lamont Roach when Lamont Roach is every bit as good of a fighter as Liam Paro is. You wasn't asking for Liam Paro and play you. And if Gary Antoine Russell would have won that fight, he probably would have got that fight because, but guess where it would have happened at? 135, because Gary Antoine Russell weighs in at 137 and said he would fight Tank at 135. How do I know that? Because he said he weighs in at 137. So Javante Davis got to give up his whole A side, got to do everything that you don't ask nobody else to do. Nobody's asking Canelo Alvarez to do that. Nobody's asking. No, I've never seen nobody ask Floyd Mayweather to do that. Asking Floyd to do that, he would laugh at you. See, Floyd was so much more vocal that even he would he would he would put that to bed right there. What the hell? I got to do what they say for it. They ain't they ain't they ain't got no putting um butts in seats. They ain't selling no tickets. What I got to do with they for what? Who is he? Tank just be like y'all know that already. Like you know what it is. Like Tank got that attitude. Like. I don't care about you, like bro. Like I, I'm not. I won't do what you say. Like who are you, y'all fans? These guys hate on them so much when they can't. But now they gotta admit that they fans. Like you're a fan, bro. You're gonna be at Javante Davis's fights. You've been at Javante Davis's fights. So I just want y'all to get this, y'all. They think that this man is so great. That he got to do things in boxing that has never been done before. No other A side y'all asked to do this. None. Name Earl Spence. Nobody was telling. Nobody was telling Earl Spence. Earl got to go to one fifty four and prove and, and give up his A side and prove how good he is and fight Jermail Charlo. I ain't never heard nobody say that about Earl Spence. Not one time. Bud went up to 154 because he chose to. I never heard nobody say, Terrence Crawford has to go to 154 to prove how great he is. No, he chose to do that. And like I keep telling y'all, how do y'all know that Javante Davis eventually won't go to 140? Why would he go to 140 when his best fights are at 135? Somebody please literally answer me this question. Tiafimo Lopez and Devin might not even be at 140 too much longer. Devin had to strip naked his last two fights to make 140. Tiafimo Lopez was already in talks to fight Brian Norman Jr. and Terrence Crawford at 147 and higher. Actually, he was right. They was talking about Tiafimo Lopez fighting Terrence Crawford at 154. But Tiafimo Lopez is out the door because him and Bob is beefing. Hey, showbiz, are you under a rock? Do you not know what's going on with Tiafima Lopez or are you just choosing to ignore it? Like it don't matter when you know it literally, legally, actually matters. Tiafima Lopez cannot step into a ring until litigation is over. And only an earth man uh, just put that to the side like that doesn't matter. Tank could pay him step aside money. You can't pay somebody step aside money for something that got to take place in court. <laughs> It's just crazy to me how these 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 Earthmen just got to they, they they disguise they hate as love. And that's why it's a, it's a saying, y'all, it's a thin line between love and hate. Why I can criticize Shakur is because Shakur is one of my favorite fighters. And what I want from him is actually what I think he deserves, like being on pay-per-view, like being a bigger star than he is. I didn't want him to sign to Eddie Hearn because I knew Eddie Hearn would give him a bullshit fight like Cordina. I predicted all this before he did it. So if I predict things before you do it and then you get backlash after doing it, I got to be critical of it because I was trying to tell you not to do it. <laughs> that don't change the fact that you're my guy. But when people say Shakur is born, I don't agree with that. Shakur is not special. I don't agree with that. All of these people can beat Shakur Stevenson. I don't agree with that. Yeah. That's how I feel, but just because I like you don't mean I got like I got I got to love your moves. Would I have liked the Lamont Roach fight if everybody else was available? Absolutely not. And Javante Davis would have got cooked for that. Absolutely. But since but since that's not the All right, bro. But since that's not the um the case, 
and everybody was unavailable and everybody was either hurt um in litigations retired wanted to be with their family what is the man supposed to do you got people that's going so far to say they just rather him sit out why would Jermonte davis sit out to make 15 to 20 million dollars would you sit out to not make 15 to 20 million dollars I really want to ask anybody that question. Would you turn down $20 million because people want to question your greatness? <laughs> well, you could do that after I make the money. You're going to still be talking about it. But y'all already know what this is, though, right? Ding. By. Any. Means. And I holla at y'all.